In this video I'm going to be replacing the uh, filament traditional tail light bulbs in this Mark III Ford Mondeo with uh, new upgraded LED tail light bulbs. And there are a number of advantages in replacing uh, light bulbs with LEDs if you can find some that are suitable. Um, firstly, they, uh, LEDs tend to be more reliable and longer lasting so you don't have to replace them as often. And um, secondly, they use less power. Now, for those who are not familiar with uh, the process of replacing bulbs in the tail light assemblies of the um, sedan or hatchback Mondeo, I'm just going to go through that briefly. So to um, get access to the bulbs, you need to remove this black panel um, in the boot, which is held in place by these two um, plastic screws, which you twist 90 degrees and then pull out. Once you've done that, you can then pull loose the plastic panel and you will have access to the tail light cluster itself. And to remove the cluster from the hit the tail light assembly, you need to uh, identify these two red uh, clips. And what you do is um, push them inwards and pull on the white handle, and then the uh, tail light cluster will come loose of the assembly. Now, if we turn the tail lights on with the cluster removed, we can see that the Mondeo makes use of three different bulbs to form the ring-shaped uh, red tail light, which you see from the exterior. Now, the outside one of these bulbs doubles as the brake light, and it has two filaments in it with a uh, tube-motored behavior. So we're going to ignore that one in this video because it's a little bit more complicated to find a suitable LED to replace it, and we're just going to replace the other two bulbs which are both 5 watt conventional filament types with a BA15S socket. Now here are the LED types that I have selected to replace these old filament bulbs. Uh, this tower type configuration has 18 5050 SMDs arranged around it. Now when you replace a filament bulb which is an all around sort of 360 degree type uh, light source with an LED you need to think about two different things. You need to think about the uh, enclosure and reflector housing that the original bulb was in and what kind of uh, LED arrangement would be best suited to best replicate the original filament. And we also need to think about the size of the LED because LED replacement bulbs are typically much larger than the original filament type and we need to be careful that we don't get something that's too big and simply won't fit. And in this case this bulb uh, meets both those requirements so it should be suitable. Now to replace the bulbs we simply uh, remove the old ones and insert the new ones of course. And then you should uh, turn the um, side lights on and just check that the tail light LEDs are working. Now it's very important with an LED that you choose the correct color for the application, obviously red in the case of tail lights. You must not use a white LED because most of its light would be blocked by the red filter of your housing. You must use a red LED and then you will get full efficiency. All right, so once the um, LED bulbs are uh, in position in the cluster, it's time to replace the cluster into the assembly. And you do that uh, just by guiding it home back into place and you want to be uh, very careful not to damage the bulbs as you do this. And then of course we will uh, repeat this process on the other side where we need an additional two LED replacement bulbs. And uh, of course it's just an identical uh, repeat of the, uh, of the other side so there's not much to say about that. Make sure you uh, replace the correct bulbs. Uh, it is difficult to do it wrong because the uh, brake LED uses a um, the brake light LED uses a different socket type. And um, as to that brake LED, I will uh, replace it in a future video and show you what I use. But it is more difficult to find an LED type that's suitable because you need to find one that is uh, both dim enough when it's on the tail light mode and bright enough when it's on the uh, brake light mode. Uh, in the meantime, this is replacing fully two thirds of the tail lights bulbs and uh, therefore we are getting most of the um, power saving benefit and the uh, performance benefit just from doing these two bulbs. And uh, here is what they look like um, back inside the uh, tail light assemblies. Now in this photograph, uh, this was taken when the uh, left side lights were still the old filament type. So you can compare them with the new LEDs which are on the right. And as you can see, they are a bit brighter. And uh, this photograph shows both sides with the LEDs installed. And these photographs don't show it very well, but they, um, the LEDs are brighter. Um, but they are also a uh, purer red. Uh, if you compare the two at the same time, you realize that the original filaments look relatively orange. So the uh, LEDs are a nice improvement in that respect as well. Okay, I hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Have fun.